We're going to power up now. We have the uh, Hubble or Leviton locking plug, uh, California approved, I believe. I forget the exact number. It could be a 2741. <coughs> Goes into the matching receptacle. Twist the lock. And you try to pull it out. It won't pull out. That's how you know it's done. Then we come over to the jet which all the power switches have been off for safety. We throw the main disconnect switch first under the on position. Then you'll see the VFD start to go through its self-diagnostics. Then we turn on the two fan manual motor starters, which are tied into the top and then the bottom fan. <laughs> now your VFD is ready to run. It's in local mode. And to operate the jet, it's as simple as pushing the green button. <laughs> so if you'll notice there's both a forward and a reverse. You want to run so that the gear is at the rear of the jet. Which it's doing. In this case, pressing forward. simply by pressing the up arrow. Alright, we're stopping it. So run it forward again because forward was proper. No, it was reverse. Oh, it was running the wrong way? Okay. No, reverse is running that way. Okay, As then intended. we'll go reverse. I was wrong. And then to change speed, it's set to uh, 50 speed right now, which is 30 hertz. show you here you might um, want to put the spring clamps on the bottom of the header uh, when you attach the tarp actually they're better off on the top because there are edges even though it's rounded uh, and the tarp can get some wear so we're going to reattach this tarp uh, to the top and now if you can see uh, we don't get quite the wear point uh, that we had before uh, so now we're going to unfurl the tarp Cover the macro bins. Uh, we have to more or less start from the rear and get it up over the bin, start it, then we'll come around to the front. Climb up on the jet if you need to. And we'll see how this tarp covers the top. And down over the front to rest on the floor. So we get this question a lot from uh, people who are just getting started with forced air cooling. How does it work? Well, once the fans are turned on and sucking from that middle space, the air has to come through the ballots or fins. Uh, and that's how we force air cool, as opposed to room cooling. So we're gonna turn this on, which is pressing that green button again. seconds the fans accelerate you'll see the tarp start to suck in from the suction see it so the air is being sucked in through all the holes where the product is in uh, we can seal these leaks in a bypass look how strong that suction is this is part of the BMP
absence of static pressure, and we still have an awful, awful lot of airflow as you can see. Uh, we're going to pick up a piece of cardboard on the floor. Pick that up. Just, just grab that cardboard and hold it against these air holes in the macro bins. And you'll see it will stick. So even though that's the air suction 